my god. Hey everybody, hi out there. This is, it's very strange to be playing this exciting music and not having an audience, but I'm just gonna imagine that there's an incredible crowd of you all out there, all clapping right now, and it feels very good. I can feel it from here, I think we all can. It's really awesome. Thank you so much for tuning into the 8-Bit Big Band live stream. Wherever you are in the world, we're in like tons of different time zones, and it's just like, it's an incredible feeling. I mean, it's been well over a year, it, probably like a year and a half at least since all of us have played together, and so this is like, it's just, just overwhelming in all ways. It, it feels so good to be back playing this music. Um, you know, just wow. Thank you all for tuning in. Thank, thank you all for coming here and doing this. It's such a crazy year. I'm so happy to be back making music with you all. Um, and we have an amazing evening of video game music for you all. So let's keep it going with one of video game music's greatest hits. This is Bob on Battlefield from Super Mario 64. One, two, one, two, three. Bob on Battlefield from the classic Super Mario 64. And that was Andrew Gould on the alto sax solo. Andrew Gould. Yeah. Good for him. Whew. 
Yeah, you know, one of the things I love about this band is that video game music now uh, being a body of work that is multiple decades old has started to amass like standards in the same way that we have jazz standards and film score and Broadway, you know, Broadway standards, the American songbook, these kind of things. And uh, that song is, as well as many others that we record, is part of like an ever-growing collection of like a great video game songbook. And so we're here to pay tribute to that music in the same way that the great arrangers of the 20th century pay tribute to the great American songbook. And so uh, next up is one other piece of video game music that is just incredibly well known. It's a standard, it's a fan favorite, it's one of my favorites from our second album. It is Tetris Theme A.
the Tetris theme. <laughs> For our next trick, we're going to be doing another fan favorite uh, from the Final Fantasy series. I think this shows up in basically every Final Fantasy game in one way or another. I'm sorry, I'm out of breath. I haven't done this in a year. <laughs> like, now I gotta talk. I, I feel like I was just holding my breath for five minutes straight while that <laughs> arrangement flew by me at the speed of light. Like, oh, it's done already? Oh my God. <laughs> Remember when we used to do this for a living? Holy crap. It's <laughs> a little insight for you out there. Anyway, uh, this, is, this is one of, the, uh, one of my all-time favorite pieces of video game music from the Final Fantasy series. This is a fully surf rocked out version of the Chocobo theme.
Chocobo theme from Final Fantasy. That was Dave Sincagran on the guitar. Stephen Feifke on the keys with the organ solo. You heard him again on the Chrono Trigger theme. I should have mentioned that before. Stephen Feifke on Chrono Trigger, the first tune you heard, featured there. Um, you know, so far we've done a couple of uh, game music tunes in a row where my idea as an arranger of them was to take them and say, you know, I hear what the composer was going for at the time. At the time these games came out, you know, the games were fairly limited in their technology, so I'm gonna take the intention of that composer and totally go as far in that same direction as that composer wanted. You know, in Final Fantasy VI, there is a sort of almost surf rock version, you know, on its way to being that of the Chocobo theme, so I thought, that's great, I'm gonna run even farther. Tetris, the, that theme was a Russian folk song already, gonna take that, gonna run farther. Bob on Battlefield, already a sort of funky horn band thing, keep going. Just keep going. Uh, but these next two are a little bit of a change in direction. Um, the originals are, th are by Jonathan Colton, and they're these like really fun pop rock songs. And I thought, since we have this incredible you know, big band, I wanted to take them and go the total other direction and make them swing. And so I thought uh, the main driving force behind these was, what if Frank Sinatra had played Portal and Portal 2? And so to help us interpret what that might mean, I'd like to bring up uh, Benny Benack III. So we're going to be singing for you the, uh, the dynamic duo. This is Still Alive from Portal 1 and Want You Gone from Portal 2. I'm good. Check one, two. Maybe a little more in this monitor here if we could do that. But yeah, can we bring up Benny other than that, too. rock and roll. <laughs> OK. This was a triumph I'm making a note here A huge success It's hard to overstate my satisfaction Amateur science We do what we must because we can For the good of all of us Except the ones who are dead but there's no sense flying over every mistake You just keep on trying until you run out of cake And the science gets done and you make a new gun For the people who are still alive I'm not even angry I'm being so sincere right now even though you broke my heart and killed me You tore me to pieces And threw every piece into a fire As they burned it hurt Because I was so happy for you Now these points of data make a beautiful line And we're out of beta, we're releasing on time so I'm glad I got burned to think of all the things we've learned for the people who are still alive. Come on, come on! Of experiments to run, and there is research to be done of the people who are still alive. And believe me, I am still alive. I'm doing science, and I'm still alive. I feel fantastic, and I'm still alive. And when you die, and I'll be still alive, still alive.
That's right. You can feel it, Charlie. You can, you can feel the yeah, we can fervent talk. energy. Yeah, man. That's Benny Benack III, still alive. Thank you. We're going to hit him with another Portal great. This is Want You Gone from Portal 2 by the amazing Jonathan Colton. And just, you know, so all you know out there, I do have plans to arrange the third lesser-known Portal song from the, uh, from the Lego Portal game, so, you know, look out for that. It's coming. I have to complete the, the trilogy, you know what I mean? You've got to give the people what they want. They man, want you it. Know? I mean, I've, it's, it's like our, one of our most requested. You've got to do it. <laughs> so in the meantime, this is Want You Gone from Portal 2. Well, here we are again It's always such a pleasure Remember when you tried to kill me twice how we laughed and laughed Except I wasn't laughing Under the circumstances I've been shockingly nice You won your freedom to take it That's what I'm counting on I used to want you dead But now I only want you gone She was a lot like you, maybe not quite as heavy. Now little Carolyn is in here too. I got it right this time. One day they woke me up, oh, so I could live forever. It's such a shame the same will never happen to you. You've got your short, sad life left. That's what I'm counting on. I'll let you get right to it. Now I only want you gone. Ladies and gentlemen, it's so great to be here at Sony Hall. Thank you all for tuning in. How about it for Charlie? And how about it for the 8-Bit Big Band? What do you say, fellas? Take it away. By my only friend Oh, did you think I meant you? That would be funny If it weren't so sad Well, you have been replaced I don't need anyone now When I delete you Maybe I'll stop feeling so bad Go make some new disaster that's what I'm counting on You're someone else's problem Now I only want you gone Now I only want you gone Now I only want you Wow. Something like that. <laughs> That's the amazing Benny Benack the third, everybody. Thanks, Benny. We got a really just such an incredible set list for you guys. This is this is such an incredible band. I mean, I, every time I do this gig, I have a moment of sort of like an out-of-body experience where I'm like, holy ever-loving shit, I'm surrounded by 33 of like New York's greatest musicians, and I and I'm like, how did I get here? Who am I? What am I doing? <laughs> like, this is amazing. It truly really is like such a surreal experience to play with musicians of this caliber. So just want to uh, thank the band really quick for being here. If there was an audience, we would all clap. So let's clap. 
Next, we have a couple more featuring some other uh, members of our incredible sax section. Uh, this is uh, another favorite from the Sonic the Hedgehog series uh, featuring the amazing Andrew Gould on the alto sax. This is called uh, Hydro City Zone. Now, I know I'm, I'm starting shit by saying it that way, but I stand firm in my decision to say that it's Hydro City Zone, and now there's no audience here to tell me otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> Hydro City, check the Japanese. I stand firm in my decision. Anyway, <laughs> this is Hydro City Zone from Sonic the Hedgehog. Andrew Gould on the alto sax. That was Hydro City Zone from Sonic the Hedgehog. And next to feature another incredible, incredible sax player in our section over there, uh, we have a tune from the uh, game Kirby Superstar, one of the fan favorites and a favorite of mine from the Kirby series. Uh, this is called Gourmet Race. This is from our third album, which came out uh, sometime during quarantine. I want to say January. I want to say January 8th. It all, uh, it all sort of feels like one long 
one long album release year at this point. <laughs> I can't, really can't remember what week in January it was, but a, a lot of these arrangements are from our third album, Backwards Compatible, which you can stream on uh, Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon, you know, wherever you get your music. And uh, I'm happy to say, announce here for the first time, that uh, although the third album came out in January, I've had a ton of time to sit around and stew on video game music, and I'm already hard at work on album four. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> and you know, maybe one day soon we're actually all gonna be able to go into a studio and record it. I bet that's gonna happen soon. I feel like it's gonna be soon. I'm gonna, I'm gonna secret that into the universe. It's gonna be soon. Uh, but I'm so glad that everybody out there is enjoying the third album. It really is like uh, just an incredible feat of musicianship, of composing from these great games, these great composers, uh, of instrumentalists and solos and talent, mixing engineers, mastering, album art. Uh, it really just came together in such a beautiful way. And it's an, it's an album that I truly uh, listen to all the time, not for my work, but for the incredible work of all the other artists that are like sitting here in front of me who contributed to that album. It just like blows my mind every time I listen to it. I don't get tired of it. Uh, and so this is an arrangement from that album. This is Gourmet Race from Kirby Superstar, and this is uh, Sam Dillon on the tenor sax.
was Sam Dillon on tenor sax. Incredible. Yeah, Sam. I'm not sure. That was, that was amazing. I'm not sure. I'm not sure which cameras are on me when, but some of you may have noticed that my baton just broke in half in the middle of that song, and <laughs> <laughs> it's over there on the floor. That's One piece is by the speaker. The other place is pieces right there in front of the, in front of you all, right there. <laughs> so I'm going to be using this drumstick to conduct from now on. That's fun. I saw I saw the camera go down to try and find it. That was a good that was a good try. I think it might be too far. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Still might be better to see the strings. The strings are like 50 feet away from me, but if you can't tell. Uh, anyway, uh, that was uh, Sam Dillon. He's incredible. And so, oh yes, of course, it's time for the uh, the results of this internet poll. Which uh, see that. Oh yeah, see that's that's what I need. That's what I expect when I say things like that. Thank you. So, <laughs> the matchup is between Spring Yard Zone, 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 and the Super Mario Bros. 2 Overworld theme, 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 theme. And the winner is 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 the Overworld theme from Super Mario Bros. 2. Yay! <laughs> Yeah, let's hear one from my boy Mario. <laughs> you know, it's funny, we usually do this, and it really goes back and forth, but uh, in the overarching internet, it seems that Super Mario Bros. Uh, beats out uh, Sonic, as far as this is concerned. So, this is the overworld theme from Super Mario Bros. 2, as chosen by you via Instagram. Thank you so much for participating.
the Super Mario Bros. 2 overworld theme as chosen by you. And that is Brian Davis over there on the lead trumpet, screaming it out. <laughs> uh, next we have uh, a real treat for you all, featuring another member of our incredible sax section, but not necessarily on the acoustic sax, but on an instrument called the iwi, the electronic wind instrument. Um, this is a song from uh, a launch title from Super Mario. Uh, this is a song from a launch title from Nintendo 64 called Pilot Wings 64, one of my favorite games uh, growing up. Uh, and this is a theme that is from a level which has no objective. There's no rules. There's no goal. The whole point of it is to just fly around the landscape at your own whim, at your own speed, and just enjoy the ambiance of the uh, game that they've created. Uh, and this is a piece uh, by an incredible composer called Dan Hess, and this is Birdman from Pilot Wing 64 featuring Zach Zinger on the Iwi.
Zach Zinger on the Iwi. That was Birdman from Pilot Wing 64. This next piece is from a game that I admittedly haven't played, uh, Fire Emblem Fates, uh, which I should get into because I hear is really, really incredible. I've, I've never really dove into the Fire Emblem series, but it's been on my list for a long time. I know a lot of you out there love it. So uh, somebody uh, introduced this to me, I, I think on Instagram. You know, I get a lot of messages from people saying, hey, have you checked out this game? Have you checked out this soundtrack? And even though I don't respond to all of them, I respond to some of them. Let me tell you, they actually are incredibly helpful. One person can only play so many games in their lifetime, and so... <laughs> The more requests you have, the better informed I will be as an arranger. Please keep them coming. Keep reaching out to me. I, I love hearing from you all with the game with game music. That's incredible that I may have missed. There's so many great indie games, you know. Uh, so uh, this is one that uh, a fan hipped me to, uh, called "Lost in Thoughts All Alone." <laughs> Pardon me while I drink some water. Ocean's gray waves destined to seek life beyond the shore, just out of reach. Yet the waters ever change, flowing like tide. The path is yours to climb in the wide light. A hand reaches through. A double-edged blade cuts your heart in two Fade away, breaking dreams, embrace the brand new day Whoa, sing with me a song of birthrights and love The light scatters to the sky above Dawn breaks through the day White as a glove, lost in thoughts all alone. Whoa. walk on belongs to destiny just let it flow all of your joy and your pain will fall like the tide let it flow Double-edged blade 
cuts your heart into waking dreams fade away embrace the brand new day whoa oh, 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 oh you are the ocean's gray waves destined to seek life beyond the shore just out of reach yet the waters ever change flowing like time the path is yours to climb you are the ocean's gray waves you are the ocean's gray waves you are the ocean's gray waves That's really such an incredible tune. With incredible changes, I didn't change a ton about it. I just really expanded it. And uh, man, just what a beautiful piece of game music. Uh, uh, next, I would uh, like to continue the uh, duo of songs that I guess is the Charlie Rosen uh, tribute section <laughs> with um, uh, my one of my all-time most favorite video game music melodies ever. This is a song that's so near and dear to my heart. It's from my all-time favorite game, which has to be Super Mario 64, because it was like my door into the world of video games with an incredible soundtrack and gameplay, and this is, I think, one of the most, like, um, just sort of atmospheric and evocative pieces of video game music that is in the great video game songbook. It's another standard of video game music. This is called Dire Dire Docks, and I did an arrangement of it uh, for the bass, particularly because I was inspired by the sort of atmospheric texture that Jaco Pastorius was able to bring uh, to his bass playing and melodic and it just very moody and it just felt like a really great marriage of two genres to do this. So this is uh, Dire Dire Ducks. I'm put my bass on. Thank you. 
That was Dire Dire Dogs from Super Mario 64. And now for the second Instagram poll. This time the matchup is between Foresight from Earthbound and Rosalina in the Observatory from Super Mario Galaxy. And uh, you know, it's funny, these two, uh, these two votes were just swept, overwhelmingly swept uh, one over the other. I, I really wasn't expecting that. You know, I figured there would be an even split between Mario and Sonic, but Mario just like overtook Sonic like 75 to 25. I, listen, I'm a, I'm a Mario fan, so I don't want to say anything, but I'm just saying. Okay. And in this situation, uh, the winner of the second Instagram poll is Rosalina in the Observatory, which also completely overswept Foresight, which I'm a little offended for my man Ness from Earthbound. You know, I, I really thought he had a better shot than that, but. Hey, what are you gonna do? Mario always wins, I guess. So uh, to play Rosalina in the observatory, I wanna bring up once again the amazing uh, Andrew Gould.
Andrew Gould on the soprano sax on Rosalina in the Observatory. One of my all-time favorite video game music melodies from uh, Super Mario Galaxy 1. We, uh, this set truly just flew by. I mean, I, we have a, you know, a couple tunes left for you all, but really it's, it's incredible just how, how much time flies when you're surrounded by this much exciting music. And uh, you know, I wish you were all here with us to experience in just this sort of like untangible ether that is 33 people in the same room making music at the same time, which after a year of recording myself remotely and submitting files via WeTransfer and doing Zooms and uh, Dropbox is just unbelievable. <laughs> There's just nothing like it, you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly, Come, you know. It can't be replicated. It doesn't work remotely. It's got to be everybody here in the same room doing it. And, um, you know, hopefully in the very near future, we can have all of you in here with us. Uh, so I appreciate you rolling with the punches and doing this live stream with us, all of you out there. And uh, here's to uh, a better tomorrow when we can all be in the same room to experience the large ensemble magic together. In the meantime, I'd like to bring up uh, my good friend Eli. Here he is right here on violin. This is Eli Bishop. And I'm, I'd love to feature his incredible playing on uh, Another one of my favorites from a Mar I'm a big Mario guy. I really lean heavy. In, in <laughs> I really leaned on Mario heavily in this set, but you know I'm biased. What can I say? This is uh, Delfino Plaza from Super Mario Sunshine for the Nintendo GameCube, recently re-released on the Switch, and uh, equally as good. One of my favorites. I know it's uh, one of the more quirkier Mario games, but uh, definitely has a soft spot in my heart. So this is Delfino Plaza featuring the amazing Eli Bishop.
Eli Bishop on violin. That was Delfino Plaza from Super Mario Sunshine. An incredible, incredible piece. And, and now I'm, I'm feeling incredibly excited to introduce a completely new arrangement. This has never before been played, recorded. It doesn't show up on any albums. It will show up on album four at some point, but I wrote this arrangement just particularly uh, for this concert. It's brand new, um, and it is, a, it is a, a total fan favorite. It's highly requested. I'd say it's among our top five most requested songs, according to a poll that I recently took. Uh, and I would love to feature the incredible Brian Carter, our drummer over there. <laughs> on this brand new, never before heard arrangement of Dolphin Shoals from Mario Kart 8.
Brian Carter on drums. Dolphin Shoals from Mario Kart 8, a fan favorite. Well, we got only a couple more for you all, so I want to thank you all again for coming out and uh, feature yet another one of our amazing sax players uh, on this next tune. This is a song from our second album. This is the Pokemon Trainer Battle from Pokemon Red and Blue, featuring the amazing Andy Gutaskis on the Big Berry sax here. Gutaskas on Barry Sachs on the Pokemon Trainer Battle. Well, I'd like to thank you all once again for tuning in around the world. I know we're selling in five, four or five different time zones, so wherever you are, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Thank you everyone for listening, for your support, for your kind words, for your views, for your subscribes, for your likes, for your all that stuff. 
And, and most of all, just thank, thank you all for your positive energy. I, I really feel it on, uh, you know, anytime anybody ever gives me a nice word on the internet, it really, <laughs> really means a lot to me. And so I, I really appreciate you all. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, this is our last song. This is the uh, Super Mario World end theme from Super Mario Bros. for the Super Nintendo.
thank you all so much again for watching. Why don't everybody stand up? Everybody stand up. If we can get a shot around the room of this incredible band. Thank you so much. Everyone in the room, please give yourself a round of applause. This band's incredible. Thank you all again for tuning in and uh, have a good night wherever you are in the world. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. <laughs>